Hey guys, welcome to Business Tips and on today's show we'll be discussing on how to have good customer service relationship. Yes, CXRO, that's the technical term. And I'm here to dish out some wonderful techniques for you to have to improve on your customer service relationship. So grab a pen and a notepad. In a bid to have a good customer and service relationship, you have to know some certain techniques and know some certain do's and don'ts so you would not be out of line. Now, starting with the first point is trust. A good customer and service relationship manager must be able to build good trust relationship. Come on, business is just like dating. Trust is what you earn, and the service you render with the kind of product you present determines the value and your presentation before your client. Some persons do not really know about trust. They're like, okay, I saw my product and I know my products are good, so what's with the trust? No, darling, trust is paramount. It's with the presentation of your products, the services, and the solution that your product actually renders to your customers. And it goes a long way for them to trust you and stick around. Now, that is the value and that is the solution. So the value is what you give them for their money and the solution is what you promise them, the services that will be rendered when they patronize you. To the next step is credibility. When I mean credibility, I talk about being discreet with what you give out. There are some certain information that are actually meant to be internal. It should be within the staffs of that organization or business routine, not to be dished out to customers, all in the beads to get, I would say, pity party or to get cheap patronized. Okay, you will be like, okay, I have to tell you where I got this product from, the amount of money I use in getting this product. I think that would make him want to buy from me. No, darling, that is poor poor, poor customer service relationship skill. Now you should tell them what they need to know, not what they want to hear. Yes, you'd be like, okay, they want to hear that my products are good, but that is a part of services. That is what your product to speak for himself. But in bid for this is be discreet with what you give out. As a customer service relationship manager or public relations relations manager, whichever one you tend to put it, or anybody that relates to the public on behalf of the organization or the business or being the CEO, you occupy this position. Please be discreet of the information you give out to your client or your claimed customers. Be careful of how you, 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 you ingredients and how you mix your product, how you get your product, it doesn't really consign them. What they should know is price and value. Now to the next tip is be a go-to person. Being a go-to person is you have to be someone that comes to your mind, boom, the first thing is, okay, I, I, I got something and I'm having this challenge, I think I should call this person. Some persons can actually get a product from you and get another product to actually miss to work with it product of these services, but sometimes we go to person that's where accessibility comes in. Yes, this is kind of a bit broad, but I think I'll put it more on the part of being accessible. Customer service relationship officer, they're calling you on your phones up. Come on, the company's phones here. Yeah, I get some persons like, I run for 24 hours, I run for 18 hours, I run for 12 hours, I run for 19 hours. In respective, you should be accessible. If you can pick up calls, at least receive messages via your emails or your DMs or whichever social media platforms they can reach you because these customers always want to be treated as king. Like I say, customers are king. Okay, now to the next tip is do not be afraid to stay in contact. Exactly, do not be afraid. So I'm like, okay, am I bogging my customers with so many calls and messages? You know what? The ability for you to stay relevant is actually communication. In every relationship you find yourself, be customer relationship, friends or family, and know where you are, communication is key. And it all boils down to accessibility. Sometimes they can't call you. I might have a thought of, okay, now you saw a shirt and I want to get a shirt. And I'm willing to get a shirt, but I want to walk around the budget to get a shirt. And you just actually popped in some messages like, hey fellows, I got new updates, I got new goods in stock. Oh, in case you want to buy, I got new shirts for you. Okay, I got blue, I got red, I got this, I got that. And to be like, I wanted to get the shirt and these good shorts are nice. Okay, just let me just go through and pick one or two. So that is the benefit of constant communication. And but please mind you, calling some persons just to check on them like um, cheap calls. I'll call those cheap calls like, how are you doing? What, uh, how was your day? Those are not really relevant. 
When I talk about keeping communication with your clients or customers is giving out valuable information that is beneficial to them and you. So prices might not want to buy immediately, but we just say, okay, I want this. Okay, there's something I actually got online and somebody was like, you you, you get a week from my status, you, you view a week from my WhatsApp status and you end up buying from someone else. Or perhaps you walk around the budget. And I asked some persons too, why do you always do that? Okay, I'm guilty of that too, sitting pretty on that table. But people do that because they want to patronize you because you're always out there. You understand now the, the, the social media space is something it's a free space everybody can breathe in so you just have to get your own space sit pretty on the table and wait for your customers to walk up to you and the bid for you to get more customers not just sitting pretty is to make your presence felt by not bugging them but at the same time reminding them that you exist and you have wonderful services or product to give to them okay now to the next step is do not sell solutions but answers and results Exactly. Are you being like, okay, I render solutions. What is answers a result? There are different things actually. When I meet this, I'll give you a pet view of mine, which says that nobody buys a, a dream meal except to make a hole. So why should I buy from you when other persons do the same thing? But if your product or your services have a plus, that's the edge you have over all the persons who perform the same services or render the same services just like you or service and product just like you. Now, it's, the, it's not just the solution of, I, I want to tone my skin and I got your product and my skin got toned and I'm happy, but I'm not glowing. But what if I get a product and that product helped me to do with ache and I just wanted to just tone my skin, but it's making me look a little bit more like last day, look more, more glowing and it helps do with hip, which was things that you didn't actually tell me about. That is giving me answers and results. But solution is I just I just I just glow, I just tone my skin. Or perhaps I I, I got I got um I was in a couple of groups and there was this young lady that actually um, spoke to one of the vendors that actually coached and was like, I, I got your weight gain tonic. He has a weight gain tonic and I wanted to add weight. Well, fortunately, I'm adding weight and my skin is glowing. And the lady was like, wow, you're not just the first person who's saying this. Other persons are saying it as well. But do you know what that I, I chipped in? I was like, young lady, you just got answers and results and not just solution to your weight issue you had but now you wanted to gain weight and you're looking not just looking fine but also good so this is what some things these are things everybody who is a service provider or a public relations service manager should know you should be able to make sure the product you are the face of the product you are the mouth you are everything of that product the product can't speak for himself except the person buys it but before the person buys it these are things that you should Kind of like give heads up to you and be able to walk around which is answers and results and not just solutions lastly to the last tip i have to dish out for you today is price mm. do not beat your price for anything okay everybody's selling the same thing as me and i think hers is cheaper and that's why they're patronizing her nobody go for substandard girls nobody does that People might just patronize people and people make it seem like they're getting a lot of patronage just to make you feel better. You are not on the winning side. Darling, do not cut your price. Instead, give them package according to your price. Yeah, you had me right. Every size and every price has a package. I wanted to go for box A, I want to go for box B, but fortunately I can't afford this. Give them the same value. This is what I think I should take time to actually explain is value. Give them value for their money that according to the price. Okay, I wanted to get a, a bed set. I got a bed set and I got a scrub, I got a face cream and I got a body lotion and I got, got a body wash because it was this zero, zero, zero price. I got this other one, I didn't have a scrub. I had just the body wash and the lotion because of this X, Y, Z price. So it's the same value I get, it's the same thing it works on my skin, but price is the thing. Do not beat your price for no reason. I'm not trying to say give arbitrary price, arbitrary charges. That is very, very wrong. That's one of the major reasons some businesses fail, anyways. But give prices that has work with that can work with the value of their money. Yes, give them the price for their value and give the value for their money. So cut, I like to say, cut the coat according to the material, or perhaps according to your size. 
That's how we got to bring you way on business tips. I hope you find these tips quite useful. You want to discuss some business issues or you want complaints or you want solutions or some problems you're dealing with as regards your business or fortune ahead. Feel free to leave your messages and also follow us on the social media platforms. We'll be ready to answer you. Thank you for watching. I am Pearl Estos Omoi.